Earth, Final Conflict was an American-Canadian science fiction television series based on ideas developed by Gene Roddenberry. The series was produced under the guidance of his widow, Majel Barrett Roddenberry, who possessed notes kept by Roddenberry that would provide the conceptual basis for the series. It ran for five seasons between October 6, 1997 and May 20, 2002. Topic. Setting Early in the 21st century, a race of aliens, the Talons, often referred to as the Companions, travel to Earth and take up residence in limited numbers. The Talons possess highly advanced technologies, many of which they share with humanity, seemingly out of generosity and goodwill. As a result of these advances, disease, war and pollution are nearly eliminated within three years of their arrival. Despite this, some question whether the Talon's motives are as benevolent as they appear, and a resistance movement forms to halt the Talon's ever-growing influence on humanity. <laughs> <laughs> development After the cancellation of Star Trek in 1969, its creator Gene Roddenberry began working on other projects, producing scripts and pilot episodes which were shown to various networks, including Genesis 2 and the Quester tapes. He began early planning for a project called Battleground, Earth, a science fiction series set in the near future when a group of aliens landed on Earth under a banner of peace. 20th Century Fox expressed interest in producing a pilot episode for the series, but Roddenberry's busy schedule prevented it. When the order for the pilot came in, he was in England filming a TV movie, which was followed by work on the Star Trek films and later the TV series Star Trek – The Next Generation. When he died in 1991, Battleground – Earth had yet to be produced. In the mid-1990s, Roddenberry's widow, Majel Barrett Roddenberry, began to develop the project. It went into production with Tribune Entertainment. It was renamed Earth, Final Conflict to avoid confusion with the film Battlefield Earth, which was released around the same time. The success of the show led to the development of other posthumous Roddenberry projects, most notably Andromeda. Topic. Series The show premiered on October 6, 1997 and ran for five seasons. The finale was broadcast on May 20, 2002. The show is infamous for the unusually high turnover rate among the regular cast, partially due to contractual disagreements between the cast and the producers. Almost all of the show's major characters were killed or otherwise removed within a season or two of being introduced. In fact, the only character to appear as a regular during all five seasons was FBI agent Ronald Sandoval Von Flores, the show's main antagonist. The fifth season of the show was a radical departure from the storyline of the previous seasons, with the Talons being replaced by a new and more openly hostile alien race, a group of energy vampires called the Atavis. Topic. Cast Kevin Kilner as William Boone, Companion Protector, Resistance Agent Season 1, Recurring Season 5 Lisa Howard as Lily Marquette, Interdimensional Shuttle Pilot, Resistance Agent Seasons 1-2, Recurring Seasons 3-4 Von Flores as Ronald Sandoval, Companion Protector Seasons 1-5 Richard Chavolo as Marcus Auger. Devereaux, Resistance Hacker Seasons 1-4 Lenny Parker as Daran, the North American Companion, seasons 1 to 4. David Hemblin as Jonathan Dawes, Resistance Leader, seasons 1 to 3, recurring season 4. Robert Leeshock as Liam Kincaid, Companion Protector, Resistance Agent, seasons 2 to 4, recurring season 5. Anita La Selva as Zoor, United Nations Companion, later leader of the Talon Synod, seasons 2 to 4, recurring seasons 1 and 5. 
Jane Heitmeyer as Rene Palmer, companion business liaison, resistance agent, seasons three to five. Melinda Diners as Juliet Street, resistance hacker, seasons four to five. Guy Lane Street Onge as Judah, Atavis Warrior, season five. Alan Van Sprang as Howlin, Atavis Leader, season five. Helen Taylor as Ryle, Sire of the Synod, season five. Majel Barrett Roddenberry as Julianne Bellman, Doctor and CVI Expert, Resistance Agent, Season 1, recurring Season 2 and 3. Topic Synopsis. Topic Season 1. Three years ago they came, forever altering the future of humanity, William Boone's life has been destroyed. A man caught between two worlds. Assigned protector to the Companions, undercover agent for the Liberation. An alien implanted cyber virus expands his mind. Controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boone searches for the truth. Season 1 Introduction, the italic part comes with episode 13. The story begins three years after the Talons arrived on Earth. The Talons have used their advanced technology to help humanity achieve a better quality of life. However, the North American Talon companion, Daran, is targeted by an assassin while making a speech. Jonathan Dawes, a businessman with close ties to the Talons, is killed while Daran is unharmed. Daran is impressed by Police Commander Boone's work in protecting him from the assassination attempt, and offers him a spot as a Talon protector, a personal bodyguard and envoy for a particular Talon. Boone politely refuses because he wants to start a family with his wife. Also, deep down, he doesn't trust the Talons fully. Subsequently, Boone's wife is killed in a mysterious automobile accident and Boone finds out that Jonathan Dawes faked his own death so that he could focus on an underground resistance movement that he founded in secret. Dawes believes the Talons have sinister intentions, and wants to find out their true motives. He also believes that the Talons had something to do with the death of his wife. Because of this, Boone agrees to work as a double agent for the Resistance in order to find answers. He accepts Daran's offer to become a protector, and receives a cyber viral implant CVI that gives him enhanced mental abilities, including perfect recall. While most CVIs alter the minds of their hosts so they become singularly loyal to the Talons above all others, including friends, family, and the human race as a whole, the Resistance sees to it that Boone receives a modified CVI which leaves his loyalties the way they were. Agent Boone receives a bioengineered weapon, called a Skrill, that attaches to his arm. Boone is joined by fellow double agent and ex-Marine Lily Marquette. She is an accomplished pilot of the Talon shuttlecraft, that can travel in interdimensional space. On the Talon side, Boone works with another protector, Agent Ronald Sandoval. Sandoval is apparently fully loyal to the Talons, thanks to his CVI. Boone soon finds out that Sandoval had Boone's wife killed so that he would join the Talons. Sandoval explains that his own wife held him back and that he was forced to put her in a mental institution to get her out of the way. He did not want Boone to have the same problem, so he had his wife killed. Boone, who would have been forced to agree if his CVI had not been modified, pretends to understand and continues his duties for the resistance. A strange satellite is found in an Amish community. Lily and Boone investigate. In later episodes, the satellite ends up in the Resistance base. It has the ability to make replicants and later kills a Resistance scientist. The probe later winds up in the hands of the Talons. Boone introduces Lily to Marcus Devereaux, a technical genius and computer hacker better known by the nickname, Auger, who Boone often hires when he needs technical skills. Later Lily and Boone become acquainted with Jonathan Dawes's state-of-the-art base for the Resistance. They learn that Auger was actually a member of the Resistance all along. 
Boone continues to search for the true motives of the Talons and actually becomes good friends with Daran, a spiritual and very charismatic being who seems to personally hold humans in high regard. A less sympathetic Talon named Zoor is introduced. Boone finds out that a Talon named Marl visited Earth centuries ago and predicted that humanity would one day be equal to the Talons. Sandoval meets an Irish protector, Siobhan Beckett, who seems to fancy him. Sandoval's CVI malfunctions and frees him of Talon control. He saves his wife from the mental institution but comes close to death. The resistance captures the couple, and Boone convinces Dawes to return Sandoval to the Talons. Sandoval's wife is given safe passage, while Sandoval receives a new CVI and is made to believe that Boone killed his wife. The Talons order an investigation into a psychic invasion of their commonality, leading Boone and the Resistance to learn that Marl gave humans psychic abilities so they would have a chance to be seen as equals when Talons and humans met again. The Resistance successfully infects the Talon headquarters in Washington with a computer virus, which unexpectedly spreads through Talon technology worldwide, leading to a threat to human technology that is connected to Talon technology. Boone and Sandoval work to destroy the virus. An enormous mothership appears in the skies, before disappearing in interdimensional space. Boone discovers more Talon experiments performed on humans while they are traveling through a new, worldwide, interdimensional travel system. Some humans are given an implant similar to a CVI, while others, including his sister, are used for some unknown breeding experiment. The continued use and function of this travel system appears to be another point of contention between Daran and Zoor. A virus is extracted from the strange probe for testing. It is highly contagious and communicable between Talons and humans. White supremacists steal a sample of the virus and unleash it in a housing center, affecting the entire surrounding area. A cure is discovered, but not before hundreds are killed. The fiancé of the resistance scientist killed by the previously mentioned probe becomes determined to find a way to get his love back. The resistance breaks into a Talon installation in which the probe is located. The scientist gets his fiancé back at the cost of his own life. The probe is supposedly destroyed. An enemy of the Talons named Hargel lands on Earth. The Talons have apparently wronged his race the Chimera, somehow. Hargel has the power to temporarily assume other forms, leaving his victims temporarily incapacitated. Hargel steals Sandoval's form and impregnates Siobhan Beckett. Boone tries to confront the alien but Hargel is frightened. Boone is badly wounded and Hargel is killed. Boone is in critical condition, as Beckett goes into labor while in the custody of the resistance. Zoor seemingly vaporizes Boone's body. Topic. Season 2 They are the companions Aliens come to Earth on a mission of peace. The true mission dot The secrets they hide Forever alter humanity In a struggle for our planet The battle between these Talon companions, and human resistance holds the key to Earth's future, and the fate of mankind. On Earth Final Conflict Season 2 Episode 1 Introduction They are the companions Aliens come to Earth on a mission of peace. The true mission The secrets they hide Forever alter humanity Caught in the struggle between these Talon companions and the human resistance is Liam Kincaid, a man who is more than human. The mysteries of his past hold the key to Earth's future and the fate of mankind. On Earth Final Conflict Season 2 Episodes 2-22 Introduction Beckett gives birth as the resistance is saddened by the news that Boone has died. The protector's baby is a Chimeran, human hybrid and grows at a rapid rate. He takes the name, Liam Kincaid, and immediately takes action as an adult. 
Beckett's memory is wiped and she is sent back to the Talons. The recovered fiancé is really a replicant of the mysterious probe, which is from another alien race known as the Geridians. The probe replicant kills the leader of the Talon Synod. Liam saves Daran and is recruited to become his new protector. Liam joins the resistance but doesn't get along with Dawes. Lily is forced to work under Sandoval but continues her double agent duties. Zoor becomes the new Talon leader, with Sandoval becoming his personal protector. Daran realizes who and what Liam is but keeps his secret, and the two become good friends. Daran and Zoor battle over each other's ideologies. Zoor believes humans should serve the Talons, while Daran thinks humanity is worthy of being their equals. The Talons prepare Earth for war with the Geridians, who believe humans have sided with the Talons. Augur's experiments accidentally sever Daran's connection to the commonality, causing him to revert to a primitive state the Talons call an Atavis. Zoor orders Daran's death, claiming he is a threat to the Synod and that Daran will never be able to rejoin the commonality. Liam is able to reconnect Daran to the commonality, restoring his physical form. Zoor tries to destroy the liberation by manipulating human brain waves, but a lucky trip through a time portal gives Liam the hints he needs to prevent it. An attempt by Dawes to have Liam killed results in Liam and Augur being cast into a parallel dimension, where they see humanity without the influence of Marl. They return with Maya, who was Kayla's Lily's sister and Jason's Sandoval's wife in her dimension. Augur is arrested in Russia and sentenced to death. A Talon representative, Lazarus, recruits him for an experimental procedure to create super soldiers. Lazarus regains his memories, restores Augur's memories then attempts a coup on the Talon mothership. The Resistance finds out that the CVI's motivational imperative wears off after a time, leaving the protectors restored to their own wills. Liam senses that the CVI of his mother, long-serving protector Siobhan Beckett, has malfunctioned and attempts to locate her. Beckett has to deal internally with all the wrongs she has committed while in an altered mental state. Also concerned, Zoor sends Sandoval to locate Beckett, but Liam locates her first. He joins his dying mother and shares with her energetically, telepathically revealing his true origin. She realizes who he is as she passes away. Dawes decides to take the resistance above ground and runs for president. The resistance members are pardoned in a deal Dawes is able to make. Sandoval becomes intrigued by Maya, and begins a search for her. She begins to suffer from being in the wrong dimension. Her counterpart in this dimension, Isabel, is tracked down. Lily discovers Isabel is her half-sister from her father's secret life. Maya and Isabel are united so the two can merge and both survive in one body. The dead body is left for Sandoval to find, to discourage him from pursuing Maya, Isabel anymore. A Geridian soldier escapes from the Talon mothership, taking Lily hostage. Liam pursues them through interdimensional space, and the three are stranded on a Chimera station. After navigating their way to the heart of the station, Liam lets the Geridian go and reports his demise on the station to Sandoval and Zoor. Chandler and his stolen shuttle reappear to attempt an attack on a Talon embassy. Teens are being recruited to become front-line soldiers in the Talon War. Daran recalls the soldiers after threatening to betray Zoa's plans to the humans. Former Resistance members come to Lily and Augur concerned over humanity's protection. The Resistance is reformed under Liam's leadership. Daran warns Liam that reforming the Resistance is a bad idea, but decides not to betray them to the Synod. A Talon crashes on Earth, claiming to be sympathetic to the humans. He claims the entire plan the Talons have for humanity was conceived by Daran. Augur is hired to help complete a weapon called the Forge to use against the Geridians. Liam and Daran disagree about the weapon. A Geridian probe crashes on Earth after taking a partial hit from the Talons. The Resistance finds it, but are captured before they begin to examine it. 
After finding a black ops group that is also preparing to survive whatever the Talons may bring, they cooperate to examine the probe, and discover it is a message probe with plans for an advanced communications device, with an offer from the Juridians to cooperate to defeat the Talons. Zoor sets the resistance and doors up when he has an assassination attempt made on President Thompson. Thompson survives and declares martial law. The resistance members are targeted and many are brought to the Talon mothership. Liam and Orga try to rescue Dawes but are pinned down. Lily tries to destroy the mothership in a last-ditch effort to save Earth. Topic. Season 3 They have come to Earth with the promise of peace. An alien race called the Talons. But there are those who resist these alien companions. For the Talons' true mission. The secrets they hide. Will forever alter our world. The fate of humanity now relies on those who dare challenge the future of Earth. Season 3 introduction, retained for season 4. Lily's plan backfires and she is believed dead, and exposed as a traitor to the Talons. Liam and Augur are rescued by a volunteer, a human foot soldier who has been augmented to a lesser degree than a protector. Dawes, on the other hand, is captured. Dawes is able to cut a deal with Zoor to give himself freedom while ensuring that his company can secretly resist the Talons. The volunteer is really one of his people, Rene Palmer, the new CEO of Dawes International. Martial law is repealed and many of the resistance members are returned. Lily is revealed to be alive, but in secret captivity, under Sandoval's control. He alters her DNA and sends her off into deep space. Liam and Orga continue to lead the resistance. Though Dawes proceeds to do work separately from the resistance, Rene and Liam find their interests frequently overlapping, and occasionally assist each other. Their relationship gradually develops into a close partnership. At the same time, Daran and Liam's relationship becomes strained, as Zoor continues his ambitious plans from his position of leadership. Meanwhile, Sandoval seems to be working towards a clandestine agenda of his own, as he begins concealing information from the Talons. Unbeknownst to anyone else, Lily arrives at the alien planet Sandoval sent her to, but because her perception is being altered, she does not realize this. The alien planet turns out to be the homeworld of the Geridians, and Lily is tricked into delivering Talon interdimensional ID travel technology to their leaders. After the illusion ends, she realizes that she is in fact, on Geridia, and is horrified once she figures out that the ID drives she unwittingly gave her new captors, are exactly what they needed to invade Earth. Time passes back on Earth, during which Jonathan Dawes dies saving his son, and René continues to work with Liam. Lily eventually leaves Geridia, bound for Earth, with a Geridian named Vorjak, whose half-human, half-Geridian child she is carrying. Their arrival complicates the plans of both the Talons and the Resistance, particularly as Vorjak struggles with the atmospheric conditions on Earth. As the new hybrid baby is about to be born, Liam and Rene help Lily through a difficult delivery. Topic. Season 4 They have come to Earth with the promise of peace, an alien race called the Talons. But there are those who resist these alien companions. For the Talons' true mission. The secrets they hide. Will forever alter our world. The fate of humanity now relies on those who dare challenge the future of Earth. Season 4 introduction, retained from Season 3. Daran helps to make sure that the human Geridian hybrid lives. The Geridians are dying, and Vorjak had hoped that the child would hold the key to their salvation, but this does not happen as expected. Before Vorjak dies from being on Earth for too long for his body to handle, Liam thinks quickly and saves his life. Lily, the Geridian, and their hybrid child, manage to escape as Liam wishes them well. Augur runs into trouble with the law and is forced into hiding. 
He offers his friend Juliet Street, aka J Street, the opportunity to take over his role in the Resistance, and she accepts. She proves savvy and intelligent, eventually revealing that she has rare ability to think and calculate in multiple dimensions, which makes her a target for the increasingly desperate Talons. The resistance goes above ground once again when René and Liam team up with an international group, the Atlantic National Alliance, dedicated to defending human interests against the Talons. Toward the end of the season, it is discovered that the Talons are a dying race as well, their core energy is almost spent. More and more Talons are entering stasis, and Zoor becomes increasingly desperate to save his species. It is also revealed that Zoor is Daran's child. Liam and René discover a regeneration chamber hidden deep in a volcano, set in place long ago by Marl. Liam realizes that all species are interconnected and he must play a role in saving the Talons, despite all the trouble they have caused. He brings them out of stasis. To conserve energy, they combine their essence into just six Talons who go down to the regeneration chamber. At the same time, the remainder of Vorjak's Geridian fleet arrives on the scene. Zoor, greedy to ensure his own survival, touches an energy pool in the chamber and is absorbed into it. Liam convinces the Geridians to attempt a joining with the Talons, which, it is believed, will return them to an earlier evolutionary form that is better suited to survival. As the volcano erupts, the joining procedure begins with Liam's help, but it is unclear who or what will survive. Topic. Season 5 In the 21st century, an alien species known as the Talons came to Earth, with the promise of peace. They lied. Their true agenda was to dominate us. After years of struggle, the Talons have perished, leaving more aggressive beings in their wake, the Atavis. My name is René Palmer. My mission is to stop this new species from dominating our planet. This is Earth's final conflict. Season 5 introduction, narrated in voiceover by Jane Heitmeyer. Liam, the Talons, and the Geridians have disappeared but their efforts, far from saving everyone, have doomed the galaxy, they have awakened the Atavis, a race of energy vampires that preceded the Talons and Geridians. René and Street are the only ones who know the truth of what's happening, the Resistance is disbanded and the human governments are in no rush to accept the beginning of another war with an alien race. Their only ally is Rajal, the first and now the last of the Talons, who is forced to provide covet support from the heart of the Talon mothership. To make matters worse, Sandoval, left in control of the Talon mothership, allies with the Atavis leaders Howlin and Judah. Together, they are able to keep their presence hidden for much of the season. Their plan is to create an army of Atavis human hybrids by means of a joining process, then use the hybrids to awaken other Atavis hives hidden around the world. As the season progresses, a few familiar faces re enter the fight. William Boone is brought back as a trap for Rene, but he quickly joins her side. In response, Sandoval and Howlin revive Zoor, giving him a new body as a female Atavis, but Rene and Boone are able to defeat the nemesis once and for all. Final conflict comes to a head when Liam returns to help René stop Howlin from unleashing his elite warriors from the long-buried Atavis mothership. At the end of the series, Liam, René and Rajal depart in the Talon mothership, resolving to bring the few trustworthy Atavis home and indulge in a little adventure along the way. <laughs> Topic. Broadcasting. The series was first shown on CTV in 1997 and ran for two seasons until the network decided to cancel it due to low ratings. The show was, however, resurrected by Chum Limited and was moved to their new net network for the remainder of its run. The series was broadcast in syndication in the United States. The series has been re-shown daily on Bravo, and later by Horror, in the United Kingdom, Showcase in Canada, Jimmy in Italy, and Bangladesh Television in Bangladesh. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Home media. Topic: <laughs> Region 1. ADV Films released seasons 3, 4, and 5 on DVD in 2003. Due to different companies owning different rights for different seasons these were the only seasons they were able to negotiate the distribution rights for. The episodes are presented in uncropped 16x9 widescreen on 6 discs per season. There were only minimal extras. On May 5, 2009, Universal Studios Home Entertainment released Season 1 on DVD in the U.S. The episodes are presented in 4x3 full screen on 5 discs with a small handful of extras included. The episodes appear uncut but are time compressed, running at a slightly faster pace resulting in each episode running approximately 2 minutes shorter than in their original unaltered forms. On July 27, 2010, Season 2 was released on DVD in the U.S. Alliance Home Entertainment has released all five seasons on DVD in Canada. All of these are bare-bones releases, no extras at all and are presented in 4x3 full screen on six discs per season with both English and French audio tracks. Season 1 is presented at its original pacing. Topic. Regions 2 and 4 Universal Pictures UK released the first season on DVD in the UK on April 3, 2006. Pandastorm Pictures started to release the series in Germany on May 29, 2015. Season 2 followed on September 18, 2015. Season 3 followed on January 29, 2016, Season 4 on April, 15, 2016 on February, 4, 2019 The German publisher Pandastorm Pictures had to announce via their Facebook page, that so far it was impossible to find all of the rights holders for Earth, Final Conflict, Season 5 Sadly it is quite likely by now, that they will not be able to publish Season 5 in Germany. They announced the release of Series 1 and Series 2 as code-free, sound, German DD 2.0, English DD 2.0 and subtitles, English. Via Vision Entertainment has released all five seasons on DVD in Australia. 